for all those who didn't quite get the Christmas gifts they were looking for, try singing this one along with me. You might just like it. Oh Santa, won't you get me a PlayStation 4? My friends have Xboxes and I need a bit more. I'll keep myself busy as these days I'm indoor. So Santa, won't you get me a PlayStation 4? And Santa, won't you get me pizzas and ice cream? My mum gives me veggies that makes me want to scream. I'm gorging on fast food in every one of my dreams. So Santa, won't you get me pizzas and ice cream? This is the story of a town that was swept over by a severe pandemic. Much like our COVID-19. Now while people were falling sick and losing jobs and dying and uh, struggling to keep their businesses afloat, the mayor of the town and his councillors were busy making their palaces and mansions bigger than ever before. Then one day, poof, the pandemic disappeared, just like that. And as people were recuperating and finding jobs and healing and uh, attempting to restart their businesses, the mayor of the town and his councillors were busy making their palaces and mansions bigger than ever before. Now, high above the city, on a column tall and bold, stood the statue of the happy prince gilded in gold. For eyes he had two bright blue sapphires and on his sword a red ruby ball. The statue of our prince was the pride of one and all. Now one night there flew over the town a little swallow. Now swallow is a tiny bird, um, just a little bigger than a sparrow. Winters were approaching in the town and so the swallow was on her way south to India to enjoy the warm win winter sun with her friends. Now the swallow saw the statue of the happy prince and decided to spend the night there. She sat under the statue and as she was preparing to go to sleep, a large drop of water fell on her. How strange is that? There isn't a single speck of cloud in the sky and each and every star is clearly visible and yet it's raining. I must go look for a better uh, covered resting place now. And as soon as the swallow spread her wings to fly off, She looked up what did she see the eyes of the happy prince were filled with tears and tears were running down his golden cheeks hey aren't you the happy prince the swallow asked that's right that's what they call me said the statue of the happy prince then, then why are you crying? A few hundred years ago, when I had a human heart, I used to be the prince of this town. I was rich and I lived in a palace that had all the comforts and pleasures one can ask for. I thought I was happy and so they called me the happy prince. 
But now that I am dead, they have set me up here so high that I can see all the ugliness and all the misery of my town and my people. And though my heart is made of lead now, yet I cannot choose but weep. I feel empty and cold inside. Swallow, swallow, little swallow, will you please help me live up to my name? I want to see how it feels to be truly happy. Uh, sure, uh, what do you want me to do? Far away, in a little street, there live the farmers of this town. The pandemic, you see, has led to their breakdown. The mayor and his councillors are negligent. They've been busy building their own paradise. Poor farmers had to sell their crops at much lesser than their own cost price. Swallow, swallow, little swallow, won't you take the ruby ball from my sword and give it to the head farmer? He'll look after his fellows who've so far been ignored. This town is very cold for me, and my friends wait for me in India. But I'll, I'll stay with you for one night and help out the farmers. Thank you, little swallow, said the happy prince. And so the swallow plucked out the ruby ball from the prince's sword and flew away with it and dropped it off at the head farmer's house. The farmer had tears of joy when he saw the red ruby ball. The swallow then flew back to the happy prince and shared the entire account with him. It's curious, I, I feel so warm even though it's so cold out here. And the happy prince smiled and said, I feel warm inside too, little swallow. And this is because you've done a good deed. Now next morning, the swallow was all ready to fly to his friends in India. She bid farewell to the happy prince, to the happy prince and was about to fly off. And the happy prince said, Swallow, swallow, little swallow, far across the city lives a doctor so kind. He's been looking after all those going through the pandemic's grind. He's had to buy medicines for the ones in distress and has used up all his resources in the process. Little swallow, won't you take one sapphire from my eye and give it to the doctor so he has all the resources he needs to buy? Don't ask me to do that, happy prince. You, you'll end up losing sight from one eye. Do as I command, little swallow, said the prince. And so the little swallow plucked prince's sapphire eye and flew towards the doctor's house and dropped it on the doctor's study table. It's, it's strange how these acts are making me warm inside even though it's threatening to snow outside. But I must, I must leave for India tomorrow. My body won't be able to take this cold and I won't be able to fly. So next day, the swallow flew towards the statue of the happy prince and sat on his shoulder. I've come to, I've come to bid you goodbye, happy prince. Swallow, swallow, little swallow. Far across the city lives a young woman in a shed. She paints, makes sculptures and writes plays to earn her bread. Her brush, her clay, her pen have been busy through the pandemic. But now she has no paint, no chisel, and no fire and food have made her sick. Swallow, swallow, little swallow, won't you take my remaining eye? You see, this is very important. We can't let the arts die. I'll stay with you one night longer, happy prince. I can't pluck your remaining eye. Without this eye, you'll go completely blind. 
do as I command, little swan. And so the swallow plucked out the prince's remaining sapphire eye, darted out with it, and dropped it off on a piece of art the artist had recently made. And then the swallow came back to the prince next morning. You've, you've taught me to find warmth in the worst of winters, happy prince. But you're also blind now. So I'll stay with you, always. Swallow, swallow, little swallow, said the happy prince. During the pandemic, while I stood frozen on, on top of this hill, so many people lost their jobs as business came to a standstill. Swallow, swallow, little swallow, I'm covered in gold that you must take out leaf by leaf and distribute it among all so that business resumes and workers have relief. So leaf after leaf, of the fine gold the swallow picked off till the happy prince became all dull and grey. And leaf after leaf of the fine gold she took to those who would make good use of it. But then the snow came. And after the snow came the frost. And even though the swallow hadn't felt so warm inside ever before, her body grew colder and colder. And she knew she was going to die. She had just enough strength to fly up to the shoulder of the happy prince. She sat there smiling when the prince said, Thank you for giving me such happiness, little swallow. I truly feel like a happy prince now. I realize that when I was alive, I mistook pleasures for happiness. But now, because of your kindness, I know that pleasure is short-lived. Happiness lasts long. Pleasure makes you lonely, but happiness is in being with and doing for others. Pleasure is in taking, while happiness is in giving. I have never, never, ever been happier too, happy prince, said the swallow. And had you not asked me to stay back, I would never have understood what true happiness really means. But now... It's time to say goodbye, happy prince. Ah, I'm glad you're finally going to India to be with your friends, little swallow. You've been here far too long. It's not to India that I'm going. I'm going to stay here with you. But I think it's time for me to go to sleep. Saying so, she kissed the happy prince and fell down dead at his feet. And at that very moment, a curious crack sounded inside the statue, as if something had broken. The next morning, a young girl, who was shocked to see the statue of the Happy Prince, cried, Mother! Mother, look! Look what happened to the Happy Prince! And a few people gathered around. <gasps> the statue! It's no longer gold! It's all dull and grey now! And a few more people gathered around. <gasps> the ruby ball from the sword! It's missing! And in no time, half the town gathered around. <gasps> the, the sapphires from the eyes! They're missing too! And in no time, the entire town had gathered around. <sighs> the statue looks shabby. <sighs> and, and look, 
Look, what's at the foot of the prince? How strange is that? A dead swallow in the peak of winter? Never seen that one before. But the artist, who was right there, she picked up the swallow. And to her surprise, the swallow was extremely warm in spite of the cold. And then someone shouted, Look at the prince's face! Doesn't it look different? It, it seems, it seems a, a, a happy, said the young girl. Yes. The prince does look happy. Happier than ever before. And then, somehow, through some kind of a Christmassy magic, the happiness of the prince filled the entire town. People were dancing and singing and raising toasts and exchanging savouries and sweets. That right then, the mayor of the town passed by the statue along with his councillors. And he shouted, Isn't something unusual about that statue today? Yes, sir. Uh, the good old happy prince of ours uh, has turned all dull and grey. <sighs> it looks so shabby, um, the mayor said. Take it off, take it off and uh, put my statue out there instead. What's the matter with you people? Take the statue off and put my statue out there instead. Now tell me dear friends, will you allow the mayor to take the prince down? No, you won't. Good. So here's what I'd like you to do. Pause this video when the screen turns black and play it only once you've got each and every member of your family and everyone who lives with you in front of the screen. Yeah? So you may pause this video now. All right. Now, get all the people who are with you to hold each other's hands and when you're done holding hands you can or you all can sing with me we will not let the prince go down we will not let the prince go down we will not let the prince go down He's happy Can't you see We will not let the prince go down We will not let the prince go down We will not let the prince go down He's happy Can't you see He's happy Can't you see He's happy Can't you see We are happy, finally. And because you got everybody together and did such a marvellous job of making your voices heard, the dull and grey and shabby and yet the happy, happy, happy prince's statue hasn't been removed after all. It is the mayor of the town who has been removed instead. And yes, by the way, our young artist, she made a small statue of the little swallow, which now sits here, on the shoulder of our dear happy prince. So once again, we will not let the prince go down, we will not let the prince go down, will not let the prince go down, he's happy, 
can't you see? He's happy, can't you see? He's happy, can't you see? And so is all the rest of town, and so is all the rest of town, so is all the rest of town. We're happy, finally.